Land of Fire, Hidden Leaf Village. Here lives a boy who dreams of becoming the village leader, the Hokage. That boy's name is Naruto Uzumaki. In his body dwelled the nine-tailed fox, the mighty-tailed beast that once attacked the village, but the strong will that he was born with allowed him to run down the path of growth. However, there was trouble brewing in the ninja world. An organization known as the Akatsuki had set out to collect the Nine-Tailed Beasts, including the Nine Tails, and declared war on the ninja world, releasing the flames of a massive conflict. Once they were ignited, the flames continued to burn on and on. But Naruto Uzumaki just kept staring straight ahead. Having forged new bonds, he kept his eyes fixed on the future and let loose a roar. That roar grew stronger and spread. And as if they were echoes, his many allies leapt into action. Naruto! All for his sake, as he keeps on fighting. This world is meaningless now. <gasps> the ghetto statue here? Don't tell me he's ready to begin. Now, time for chaos! The roars from the splitting earth herald the end. As this battle to save the ninja world enters its final stage. The ultimate death match begins. The world no longer needs hope, a future, or any famous heroes. When this reality ends, all that will remain is a single endless dream. I had a dad, a mom, an old man sage. Kids look up to heroes. So I'm gonna keep charging ahead without losing my way. I'm gonna become the best Hokage there's ever been. That's my dream, you idiot! Pretty good idea what's going to Now's the time to attack! 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 Oh, 
a shadow clone? <laughs> it's your limit, Kakashi. Tail beast bomb! You're too late. <laughs> You're wasting your time. What? Impossible! Nowhere to run now, Toby! I, I get it. My attack isn't what erased that shadow clone. It was Kamui. Damn, Kakashi. He figured out that we're connected to the same space. This is it! Who are you? Believe it. I wanted to be wrong. I mean, back then, you. you were a hero. It was during the Third Great Ninja War. An age when men and women, young and old, Anyone who was known as Ninja flew headlong into battle. They drew blood, shed their bonds, stole things, and lost their own. This cycle of hatred spread like wildfire, endlessly. And in the center stood three fledgling youths. They too were Ninja, embroiled in this terrible war putting their lives on the line. How are you always so late? Ninja have rules. You need to stick to the plan. A good ninja sticks to the rules and does everything by the book. Rules, doing things by the book, that's all you ever talk about. Don't you have any compassion? Any ninja that breaks the rules sullies their name. You can at least understand that, right? Okay, okay, you two. Give it a rest. We're on the same team, remember? Reen, you're too soft on Obito. Today's a very important day for us. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Huh? What's going on? <sighs> Let's talk about it on the way to our destination. As of today, Kakashi's become a Jonin, like me. We'll split into two units, led by Kakashi and myself, in order to give us the best chance of success. We're suffering from the biggest lack of manpower that the Hidden Leaf Village has ever seen. Remember. Actually, Obito, remember our talk about giving Kakashi a present? I already gave him a medkit, and Sensei's also... I gave him a custom-made kunai knife. Just like the one I carry. What about you, Obito? Sorry, I, I forgot. What? Well, I wasn't expecting anything from you anyway. It probably would have just been a piece of junk. Useless crap like that would just be excess baggage. Hey! Oh, come on, don't start fighting! Now, let me run through the mission. You're all aware that the Land of Earth has launched an invasion against the village hidden in the grass, right? Yes, they're coming very fast. It's only a matter of time before they cross into the Land of Fire. That's why we need to stop them as soon as possible. As such, our mission this time is to infiltrate enemy territory and destroy the Kanabi Bridge, which is part of their supply route. So we're going to cut off the enemy's support network. What about you, Sensei? I'm going to tackle them head-on and act as a diversion for you. For today, Kakashi is your leader. We'll stick together until we hit the border, but after that, your unit's on its own. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
They noticed me, did they? Impressive. Careful now, everyone. There's 20 of them, although there's a good chance they're using Shadow Clone Jutsu. I'm going in. Cover me. Not so fast, Kakashi. You should act as backup. What about what you said before, Sensei? I'm the leader today. That means I call the shots, doesn't it? That's the rule. Okay, everyone. Follow Kakashi's lead. Uh, okay. Just a seat one at a time. That's all there is to it. I don't like fighting kids. Even if we are at war, it doesn't feel right. The least I can do is make sure you don't suffer. These are no regular ninja. Maybe I need to rethink my ideas about child shinobi. Good. No sign of any reinforcements. Kakashi's really worn out. Let's retreat for now and regroup. I'm... I'm fine. Fine my ass? That's what you get for ignoring Sensei and doing whatever you like. That's some talk, coming from a ninja who is too scared to be of any help. I... I wasn't scared! I was just, you know, I, I had a tummy ache. I'll be fine next time. That's all that ever comes out of your mouth. Excuses. Enough already, you two. <sighs> You're going to have to work together from now on if you want to complete your missions. Right now, you're pulling in opposite directions. Yes, Kakashi. Rules in the Ninja Code are important, but they aren't everything. It's like I taught you. Sometimes you've got to adapt to the situation you're in and bend the rules. And Obito. You still haven't truly prepared yourself to be a ninja. Your spirit is weak. That's why you feel scared when you actually face the enemy. 
I've got faith in you all, though. I know that you can complete this mission on your own. But if you cannot work together and function as a team, you're going to fail. Before I go, one more thing. The most important thing any ninja has to master is teamwork. Got it? With heartbeats racing, without a clear vision of what was really right and wrong, trapped in a battle with no exit, the boys just kept moving forward, running as fast as they could. And then? Okay, time to split up. Good luck, everyone. Disperse! After parting with Minato, Kakashi's team headed straight for their target, Kanabi Bridge. Sometimes arguing, sometimes working together, moving ever forward. Finally, several days later, with their target in sight, the three took their final break. Moving into enemy territory had made them extremely tense. That was when it happened. <clears throat> Rain! She's coming with us. Hey, what did you do to her? Don't worry, she's just asleep. We'll be able to get a lot out of her. Let her go! Hmm. No! Come on, Kakashi, we gotta go after them! Hey, Kakashi! Kakashi? The two of us need to carry on with the mission by ourselves. Uh, what? Do you know what you're saying? Yes. But Reen! What about Reen? We'll think about Reen later. They want to know what our plan is, so they won't kill her straight away. We should be more worried about them learning our tactics. To a ninja, his mission is everything. That's the ninja code. The ninja code? There's something way more important than that stupid code! What about Reen? She's one of our comrades! She's helped us time and time again with her medical ninjutsu. She supported us the entire time! She's... She's a priceless friend! She did that because it was part of her mission. Forget it. You and I just don't get along. There's no point in discussing it anymore. You don't get it. You don't know what happens to people who break the code. Sure, maybe in the ninja world, those who break the rules are scum. But you know what? Someone who doesn't care about their friends is even worse. I'm going to help Reen. She's trapped in a Genjutsu. If you want to free her, you'll need to defeat us. But there's no way you could do that. Rain, I promise. Taking a lot of courage to come here alone. Sometimes courage just isn't enough. You know what I mean? Unfortunately, your life ends here. My arm's still shaking. Fireball! I'm only afraid because you're weak over time. Get over it! A little more. Close to you. Rescuing your friend? Huh? I knew it. I think 
someone like me would fight seriously against a kid? You don't know when to give up, do you? Maybe you're not as useless as I thought you were. Quit playing games, Taisuke. I will. Camouflage Jutsu! Here. Well, I couldn't leave a weakling like you on his own, could I? He's pretty tough for a kid. I think I'd better join you, Taisuke, just in case. I'll take the lead here. Back me up, Obito. Let's do this! Obito, is Rain okay? Yeah! We use Genjutsu on Rain. That's why. You'll have to defeat us if you want to snap her out of it. Simple, right? Uh, You're I guess there must be quite the manpower shortage in the Legion. It must be crazy to send kids like you out to war. Age doesn't matter. If you can fight, you fight. That's the ninja way of life. Our training system is worlds apart from yours, I guess. Everything you say, this is me. You know that. Okay. I can handle it. Obito! See ya! Kikashi! Damn it! Kikashi! Are you okay? Your... I... I'm not dead yet. Just stay focused, Obito. We can use this to our advantage. I'll finish both of them now. 
I can never back up what I say. I always rely on everyone for help. But still, there's one thing that I want to make sure I can back up. Your eyes! Obito, you've awakened your Sharingan! I'm going to save my friends! Huh? Whoa, whoa, seriously? Ready? Obito? You bet! Release! Kakashi, Obito! We're here to save you, Rin. You're safe now. You rescued the hostage and let your guard down. Don't you think it's a bit early to relax? You little leaf brats! <laughs> Earth-style rock breaker! This is bad! Run to the exit!
Are you okay, Reen? Kakashi? Obito! No! Don't bother. It's no use, Kakashi. I think I'm done for. Obito! No, but why? <laughs> Damn it! Why? If I had listened to you when you first said we should go after Reen, then this would never have happened. Some leader, some Jonin I am. Oh yeah, I forgot. I never gave you a gift to congratulate you on becoming a Jonin. Kakashi. I I've been trying to come up with something good. And just now, I got an idea. Don't worry, it's not some lame gift you can't use. I want you to have my Sharon gun. I don't care what people back home say. You are a great Jonin. I truly believe that. Take this, please. I'm going to die now, but I'll become one of your eyes. I'll see what the future holds. Take green and go. More reinforcements are coming. But, Obito! Just go! Rain! Earth style! Earthquake slam! <laughs> Green, grab onto me quick! Kakashi, protect Reen. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Let's go. Am I dead? Wait. Hmm. Looks like you're awake. Sensei, why? This kunai is a marker for my transportation technique. What about the enemies? I took care of them. <laughs> what about Reen? Where's Reen?
I'm sorry I didn't make it in time, Kakashi. Rin told me everything. The third great ninja war. This long, drawn-out conflict came to an end after taking the lives of many nameless ninja. At the same time, it carved the names of a number of heroes into ninja history. The Battle of Kanabi Bridge. On that day, two heroes were born in the Hidden Leaf Village, each with their own Sharingan. The name of one is carved on a tombstone, while the other is known far and wide as Kakashi of the Sharingan. However, with the passage of time, even tales of heroism can unfold into cold, heartless reality. The fighting, the pain, the hatred. It goes on and on forever. Am I dead? Where am I? Somewhere halfway between life and death. Child of Uchiha. Your eyes... It can't be. You're from the Uchiha clan too? <laughs> well, if you can feel pain, it means you are still alive. So you saved me? Thank you. You can thank me later. You see, I intend to make you pay me back in full. Okay, what do I need to do? I need to get back to the Hidden Leaf Village. We're in the middle of a war. And now that I've finally awakened my Sharingan, I'll be much better at protecting my allies. Protecting your allies? What? You will not be able to go on working as a ninja with that body. Wake up. Nothing in this world goes the way it should. Would you shut up already? I don't want to stay here forever. <laughs> Enough. Neither of us can get out of here. Not with these bodies. Just who are you? I am... The ghost of the Uchiha. Madara Uchiha. Uh, Madara? But Madara already died. Ages ago. Then I suppose I am a relic from the past. It is true. If I was not receiving a steady supply of chakra from that statue back there, I would be dead in an instant. I am cheating death. Why would you capture a half-dead kid like me? We are going to break the cycle of cause and effect. Create a world with only victors. With only peace. With only love. A world that contains nothing but those things. Why should I care? Look, I just want to go back to my village, okay? If you want to die, that is your choice. But I shall take that eye of yours before you do. Why do you want my eye? Y you already have your own! And I am still missing a right eye. The Sharingan's true power is unleashed when the left and right come together, you see. So... That means if I stand shoulder to shoulder with Kakashi, I'll get even stronger. Then we'll really be able to keep Rain safe. Just another reason why I need to get out of here. Just wait, you two. I'm still alive. <laughs> I leave the rest to you.
It's no use trying to act tough and hide your injuries. I've already seen them all. Rain. <laughs> he said her name again. <coughs> Ook, what the heck are you doing? I just saw that you had started mumbling about Reen again, so I got curious as to what kind of dream you were having. He... He always looks like such a loser when he's doing that. It's quite funny. He even drools sometimes! <laughs> hey, quit laughing, Gudu Gudu! Sorry! <sighs> it's been a while since I first got here. The first time I saw you, I was scared to death. You're puppets who were created from the statue, right? To us, you look like the real puppet. Yeah, you're human, yet half of your body is artificial just like ours. Worried about Madara? He went on and on about breaking the cycle of cause and effect or whatever, and then he goes to sleep forever. Oh, didn't you understand what Madara was talking about? Basically, his idea is to chuck out all the bad stuff in the world and run away to a dream world where everything's good. Since it's a dream world, you can do whatever you like. You can even bring dead people back to life. What? Now that just sounds ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe to you. Shut up! You're way stupider than me! Bingo! <laughs> Jeez, I don't know if you're making fun of me, or if you're the idiot. But I guess, I guess there's, there's no, no point, point in worrying worry about, about that now. now. I just need, need to get used to, use to this, this body, body as quickly as possible. possible. Come on, you guys. Time to get to work. Okay! More rehab, right? I take it you're ready? Of course! All right. Let's fight! I'm gonna go all out this time. Get ready! Bring it on!
feeling pretty good now. A testament to what great teachers we are. You can start calling us sensei if you want. Sorry, but Minato's the only sensei. Thanks, guys. I've got a little more confidence in myself now. <sighs> it feels good. I've gotten more used to it than before. I really feel at home in my body now. No more awkwardness. Rin, Kakashi, we'll be together again soon. Oh no! Huh? I just went outside for a minute and saw that Rin person you keep talking about. She's in serious trouble! What happened? She and that Kakashi guy are surrounded by a bunch of hidden mist ninja! <laughs> You still can't break that rock yet. But I've got to go help Rin and Kakashi. Where my body then? But you work for Madara, right? Are you sure you're all right with this? You want to help your friends, don't you? Thanks, Guru Guru. Okay! You are leaving? I'm grateful to you for helping me. But yes, I'm leaving now. I have to! Okay, take me straight there! Okay, leave the navigation to me. My allies are standing guard all over the world. It'll be a cinch. How does it look? Uh, pretty bad. They keep talking about hidden mist experiments. I don't really get it. But there are a couple of dozen of them surrounding Rin and Kakashi. What is Minato Sensei doing? Who? I said, what do you think you're doing, Yellow Flash of the Leaf? I think he's wrapped up in another mission. He's nowhere nearby. Just when we need him most. Kakashi, you promised. Please. You've got to protect Rain. I'll be right beside you soon. Rain? No. That's spray from the collision. Rain and Kakashi are in there. What's your plan? Isn't it obvious? I'm gonna charge straight in! <laughs> what the...? <laughs> Why am I seeing things? There's no way that actually happened! Kakashi and I were supposed to... Protect her! an idiot he's all alone take him out
get it. I'm in hell. Nothing in this world goes the way it should. <laughs> Since it's a dream world, you can do whatever you like. You can even bring dead people back to life. Rain, we'll be together again. I'll make a world where we can be together again. I'm going to break the cycle. That's why I decided to come back. Do you think that anyone saw you? I'm the only witness. Obito annihilated every last one of them. But it looks like he spared Kakashi. He was unconscious though, so he didn't see anything. Still attached to your old ally, are you? No. I just didn't care about him. It doesn't matter to me whether he lives or dies in this world. He'll join us in the new world we create. And so will Reen. Madara, show me how to create the dream world. You do not need to thank me anymore. This way, as of today, you are our savior. The dream world is extremely simple to create. All you need to do is take everyone into the Genjutsu world I have created. But you need to use the moon to magnify the scale of the Jutsu. Yes. Let us see. First, I need to educate you about the Sage of the Six Paths and the Ten Tails. And then, about my project, Tsuki no Me. In a previous battle, I obtained some of Hashirama's DNA and transplanted it into my own body. And then, when I was on the brink of death, I awakened my Renegon. At the same time, I also broke a certain seal. I summoned the ghetto statue, the empty vessel of the Ten Tails from the moon. Then, I quickly used the statue as a medium to cultivate more of Hashirama's DNA. The result was this. <laughs> I transferred my will into these beings. They are half me. Now, get to work, until I can be...